Hi, my name's Thomas Crowther, and I'm an ecologist at the Netherlands Institute of Ecology. Most of the world's terrestrial carbon is stored in the soil. And this carbon is stored predominantly in the form of organic material. And this carbon is slowly released via the activity of soil organisms, the microbes and plants and animals that interact within the soil. However, there's growing concern among scientists that as the climate warms, it's going to stimulate the activity of these organisms, speeding up the rate of carbon emissions from the soil. And these carbon emissions come in the form of carbon dioxide and methane, which are both greenhouse gases. So if warming stimulates the loss of carbon from the soil into the atmosphere at a greater rate, it could accelerate further warming. And this could in turn drive additional losses of carbon from the soil into the atmosphere, driving additional warming. And this generates a positive feedback that could potentially accelerate the rate of climate change over the rest of this century. So really understanding the magnitude of this effect is essential if we're going to be able to predict climate change into the future. It's also very important if we're going to generate meaningful greenhouse gas emissions targets in order to combat climate change in the future. We've been collecting soil carbon data from warming experiments all over the world, and these have been conducted by over 40 institutions across a range of different continents. And this information allows us to generate a map of the spatial sensitivity of soil carbon in response to warming. It suggests that the greatest losses are likely to occur in the high latitude areas of the Arctic and subarctic regions. And it also suggests that in total, we're going to lose over 55 petagrams of carbon from the soil. That's 55 trillion kilograms of soil carbon being released into the atmosphere by 2050. So from the amount that humans are going to emit, we're going to accelerate that rate by an additional 17%. This additional carbon that is going to be emitted from the soil into the atmosphere could drive considerable additional planetary warming. So these results suggest that cuts to greenhouse gas emissions, at least meeting the targets that were set in COP21 in Paris in 2015, will be essential if we're going to minimize the damaging impact of this carbon cycle feedback on the future of the planet.